C. Lindelof videos, AP Calculus, find values of C that satisfy the mean value theorem. And here we're given this equation, y is equal to x squared over 2x minus 4 on the interval negative 4 to 1. So what I did here was this, and I'm not going to go through through every single part of it, it drive you crazy. Uh, I started out using my average rate of change thing because that's what mean value is built on, which is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Tells us what that guarantee tells us what our guaranteed slope is going to be. So I had f of one minus f of four over one minus four. Um, when I did that math out, it came out to one-sixth. I actually did my math by hand. Um, so anyway, I got this value. This is not that guaranteed value. This is the slope that we're guaranteed to have. We want to know what C value, what value of X satisfies that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start to differentiate this. So I need Y prime, or if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm taking DDX of X squared over 2X minus 4. It's a quotient rule problem, so I'm going to just build my stuff for the quotient rule. Let's say for the quotient rule, my f of x will be x squared. My f prime at x, therefore, has to be 2x. My g of x is equal to 2x minus 4, and g prime at x, therefore, is just 2, isn't it? So now I'm going to fill in the blanks because, of course, we all have quotient rule memorized. So that will look like this. It will look like 2x minus 4 g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x, which is 2x. I'm sorry, which, f of x, which is x squared. Where is, what the hell does it have? Times 2. So here's f of x and his g prime at x. Remember that it's all over g of x, which is 2x minus 4 quantity squared, isn't it? And... What sucks about that is that here's our derivative, and we're saying that it's we've found a guarantee that we're guaranteed that we're going to find a slope of one sixth somewhere in there. So I'm going to clean this up, and I'm going to end up getting four uh, x squared minus eight x minus two x squared all over two x minus four quantity squared times one sixth. Thank God some of this cleans up. So 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared, isn't it? So I end up with 2x squared over um, 2x squared minus 8. Now what I'm going to do is just some simple math. It's just you have to really think your way through it. So I'm just going to cross multiply, right? Because I'm going to use this means extremes theorem. So I'm going to do 6 times this mess here, which gives me 12x squared minus 48x, right? 6 times 2x squared is 12x squared. 6 times negative 8x is negative 48x. 2x minus 4 quantity squared times 1 actually does work out. 2x minus 4 quantity squared. Believe it or not, I have to open this crap up. So I'm going to open this up. 12x squared minus 48x. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. will give me 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. So now we have this as a quadratic, and we'll start cleaning it up. I'm going to move everything to the left. So we'll get uh, 8x squared minus 32x minus 16. You see I moved everything from the left side to the right side is equal to 0. So we have this in, now we have this in quadratic form. I got happy. I was like, yeah, this is going to work out good. And I looked, and it, it still doesn't factor well. I factored out this 8, so I got 8x squared minus 4x. Right? Minus 2 equal to 0. Still, when I got to this thing, I realized I had to use the quadratic formula. So I actually did use the quadratic formula, which is that x is equal to b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And if you're sitting there going, this is algebra 1, it absolutely is. Then there's no way that you're going to ace the AP exam without knowing some part of that. So you're going to have to know it. When I did all this math out, and you, I suggest that you do, I got x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 6. And if you do that, you, should, you can check. However, if you look at the interval, if you look at the interval, positive 2 is not on it. So it's just going to be 2 minus this value. So there's my guaranteed value. 
Hope this was really helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks.